Hello soulmates and welcome back to our channel. For those of you who are new, I am Claudia and this is my cousin Andrea. Hi, Super Anne. nice to meet you, all of those who are new. So we just landed in Victoria and we are so excited to be here. For all of you coming to the west coast of Canada, you must absolutely stop in this beautiful island. So it is either a quick short ferry ride from Vancouver or you can actually take a 25 minute flight, which is what we did. Um, so we're going to be spending a week here with our really good friend Devin. <laughs> we're there. Um, this is our actual like first trip together, so we're super excited um, to be traveling together. So make sure that you go check out her channel as well. We will link it down below for you guys, and let's go explore. out to dinner but seriously guys before we head out we have to show you this so the taxi driver on our way to the hotel was telling us that Victoria is known for its beautiful sunsets and tonight we get to experience that very first sunset and it is so gorgeous so start filming Devin's alarm goes off I kid you not <laughs> <laughs> Sounds <about> right. <laughs> Um, yes, yeah, so we're listening to 90s music in the car. <laughs> um, but this morning, oh, good morning, by the way, people. Um, we are at Beacon Hill Park and we are really excited. One of the main reasons that we're in this park is because we've seen pictures of the Moss Lady. And if you haven't seen pictures of it yet, just hold on. Don't go anywhere. We're going to show you exactly where we're going in just a second. the beautiful uh -huh. moss lady she's right behind uh -huh. us <laughs> and she's kind of like the strong and silent type like she's just uh, not saying much to us but she looks very peaceful we're glad we found her we thought there was gonna be some like information about her here about like why the sculpture is here or um, basically the meaning behind it but there really isn't so we're gonna try and see if we can find um, information online for you guys to share behind this like history on this but um otherwise it's just a pretty cool sculpture to come and see and take photos of do you think she has a name ah uh, i don't know because they call her the moss lady um, <laughs> <laughs> if you guys want to give her a name comment down below and let us know what you think we should name her <laughs> one thing that you want to know about this park is that it's famous for the what is it wild I, would you call them wild i don't know wildlife i don't know if, <laughs> i don't know if peacocks are wildlife claudia <laughs> i know but, but you're like wild animals like they're not you know in like cages is what i'm trying to say yeah. they roam free throughout yeah the whole so park. yeah so peacocks roam free throughout this park nobody really gets close to them so i wouldn't recommend it um but they are really beautiful as you can see like there's tons of them right here and you can just enjoy 
um, walking along right next to them as you walk through the beautiful trees and all the plants that are in here. It's and so, oh, sorry, go oh, ahead. Go oh, ahead. Oh, <laughs> fun fact that I actually didn't know, these beautiful, the beautiful one in front of us right now, the blue one, um, is actually a male. And the females are the kind of grayish ones with less colors. That's correct. That's this guy. Nice. Look at that. We wanted to give a huge shout out to Three Point Motors for hooking us up. road which is this beautiful pier right by the ocean the view is absolutely unbelievable but as you can tell we are just a little cold like seriously i have three layers on you guys claudia <laughs> asked me if i if she could wear my pants as a scarf that's how cold we are <laughs> i kid you not <laughs> Claudia were taking their photos I thought I might go off and just walk the rest of the pier and it is so beautiful the view from here is breathtaking and it's just such a like a peace and so go warm up because look how cold we are you guys <laughs> but um we realized it's like sun setting right now and we saw this like parking lot that leads to this like dock it's this pier. dock to like the back Area. of these condos yeah. look at the view of the bridge from here it's stunning like how pretty is that of what it's like getting ready with us and thank you so much to Ben for having us and try their products during our trip our hair feels and looks absolutely amazing we totally see a difference and um, if you were wondering what looks different well that's exactly what we were trying during this trip We just got to Fisherman's Wharf, which is a really popular spot here for its colorful little houseboats that are around this place. So a lot of it is like quite touristy because a lot of the tour companies, the ferry, for example, is here. And then there's just like little shops all over the place and you can just come walk around and enjoy the view just like right by the water. Um, it's a little strange right now though because it is very quiet a lot of the stuff is closed not quite sure if it's because of covid or maybe we came a little bit later thanks Devin. <laughs> um maybe we came a little bit later in the evening and then everything is already closed <laughs>
because the Parliament building, which is right at the heart of downtown, probably one of the most beautiful buildings in the city, um, has these gorgeous lights um, as soon as the sun starts to set and it looks incredibly magical. So we're gonna go walk around and show you kind of as the sun is going down. Yes, and we'll also show you during the daytime as well when you can really appreciate uh, like all the details of the building. But um, yeah, right now it's just like a stunning view. So let's go. This is the Sheringham Lighthouse uh, viewpoint and you guys the endless ocean views are just absolutely incredible. This is about half an hour outside of Victoria so totally doable on a day trip and um, it's really great for photos to come and you know just listen to the sound of those waves is amazing. And this has like a very small very easy trail to get to it probably about honestly just like a five to seven minute walk. Um, so yeah, really doable and a great way to come walk around and spend an afternoon. Johnson Street and this is I think my personal favorite because at night when you drive by all of the little shops here You can kind of see it right now. They have lights and it looks really really magical So you can come here. We've walked this a bunch of times. It's in the heart of downtown So super accessible and um, yeah, really great place to either come walk around people watch or take some photos It is super cute. Yeah, definitely perfect for a photo op definitely like again like that European style feel um, great for shopping. Yeah, it's great for shopping for for cafes, yeah. like anything really like cutesy, like Instagrammable. I know, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but really, really worth the walk, and you'll be coming here pretty often if you're in downtown. Officially our last day in Victoria and I don't even want to get into that because um, it just makes me so sad to be leaving tomorrow but today we're going to be doing a little mini road trip to a small town called Souk s-o-o-k-e and it is about one hour away depending on traffic and um, there's this provincial park called Souk potholes and it's been recommended to us from several people several of the locals as well so we have kind of changed our plans and we're gonna head over there right now <laughs> 